Welcome to Biology in Your Backyard. I'm Dr. Mark Johnson. I'm Tamarack. I'm May. And I'm Oscar. And today we're going to be talking about poop on your property. The proper scientific term for poop is feces in the case of mammals, guano in the case of birds, and frass in the case of insects. But I think you and I both know that poop goes by a few other names. Here are some examples. Kaka, Judy, turd, excrement, droppings, scat, stool, dung, dump, doo-doo, manure, number two. So we all know about poop. There's even a book about poop by Taro Gomi. It's called Everyone Poops. But does everything poop? No, because plants absorb, get their energy from the sun. And fungi absorb energy from decaying things and other organisms. So that means that only things that eat poop. So animals. All animals eat, so all animals poop. So together, we're going to go and explore poop on our property. And you can also explore poop on your property with adult supervision. Now, whenever you're going to look at poop, it's important to stay clean and safe. And so we're gonna use a very highly complicated scientific instrument, the poop poker. Yes, that's right, it's only a stick. And all you have to do is when you take a stick, you fashion it so that you can hold the stick and poke at the poop and see what's inside. Now, when you're doing that, it's important that you hold it fairly close to the end, not so close that you're gonna to actually touch the poop, but so that you can manipulate and dissect that poop to see what's inside. If you're way back here and you go to poop the, poke the poop, what's gonna happen is you're gonna flick it and it's gonna go flying and that's no good for anyone. So make sure that you have the proper grip on your poop poker. You may recall the last week we learned a lot of new things about worms, including what their poop looks like. Now it's time for an up-close look. All right, make sure you zoom in. All right, I'm going to get my poker ready. Here we go. I'll squish it up a bit. Okay, you can see it mostly looks like dirt, but if we were to take an up-close microscopic examination of it, we would find lots of other decaying plant and animal matter in the poop as well. What? We found one right here. Oh, it looks like a little nugget. And you know what that is? Rabbit poop. What's inside, I wonder? It's like fibers and it's like all the grass that they've been eating and green stuff. And twigs. This is probably all, I think you're exactly right, man. I think this is all the leftover fibers from the plant material that they've been eating from the grasses to the seedlings to the, the twigs. You can see all of that inside the rabbit poop. Amazing. And sometimes the rabbits will leave a pile of these pellets. And did you know that rabbits will actually even eat their own poop again to absorb more nutrients? Oh, I know it sounds so gross and you'd never want to do this because you'd get sick. But for a rabbit, that can actually be quite healthy. Deer poop looks a lot like rabbit poop. They put it in piles. Deer poop also looks a lot like brown jelly beans, but make sure you don't eat them. Ooh, Oscar found some bird poop here. Let's take a closer look. If you look at bird poop, it's made up of two parts, a dark part to the poop and a white part to the poop. The white part is equivalent to pee. I know it's solid, but it's still basically pee. And it's made up of two main components called ammonium urate and struvite. The dark part is actually the poop part, the excrement. This is the waste from all of the food that they consumed and didn't absorb. Now let's take a look at what it looks like inside. And if we take a close look inside this poop from the bird, we can see what it was eating 
So let's take a, a get a little bit closer. And ah, I can see seeds and seed casings left over inside there. So this bird was a herbivore eating seeds. Have you ever wondered what goose poop looks like? Well, look at what they're eating. They're eating grass. So here's some goose poop and let's dissect it. Well, sure enough, it's made up of a lot of grass. Let's get a close up. Now, we're also going to dissect poop underneath a microscope. Now, because I'm a scientist, this is something that I can do because I have a microscope here at my house. This is something that you probably can't do at your, your house. And it's best that you not do this. So I'm going to actually be using protective equipment to make sure that I'm healthy. I'm going to use eye, eyeglasses to make sure that I don't get anything in my eyes. I'm going to use an N95 mask to make sure that I don't inhale any parasites. Make sure it's properly fitted. And I'm also going to actually have on some acetonitrile gloves, latex gloves. And I'm going to put the poop inside this jar containing soap to help dissolve that. And then we'll look at it underneath the microscope. Come with me. You see it there? We found some rac old raccoon poop, and I'm going to use my gloves to pick that up. And I'm going to put a little bit of it inside here. And then after it dissolves in there, we'll dissect it underneath the microscope. Make sure it's on there good and tight. Ready? Let's go. This is the microscope we'll be using that was kindly donated by the Department of Biology at the University of Toronto Mississauga to the Riverwood Junior Naturalist Club. So as you'd expect, a lot of it just looks like brown goo. But once you start to look around, you can see that there is actually material in there that you can recognize. So look at this right in the middle here. If we focus in a little bit more, get closer, to me that looks like the husk of an acorn. And just to the left there, where I'm poking, that looks like the shell of a sunflower seed. So I think the raccoons have been eating our sunflowers. What else can we see in here? Well, as I look around, I can see still more plant material, but also some things that look like insects, maybe the exoskeleton of an insect. That's the outer casing of the insect. And indeed, raccoons are omnivores. They eat both plant and animal material. And so it looks like their feces shows both of those components of the diet. And that's one of the things that looking at poop really tells you is what the organism eats. You can even find poop in your own home, inside the home. Now, come with me and I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can see in many homes and you can find out if you have this poop in your house too. Have you ever wondered what makes those white dots on your floor? Well, that's a spider, that's spider poop. And there you can also see the dead bodies of its prey. I can see an ant and two woodlouse. Aw, oh, Dad, I found some mouse poop. Are you sure? Well, they look like little nuggets. Oh yeah, that's mouse poop for sure. Now it's important when cleaning up mouse poop that you use disinfectant wipes or paper cloth with disinfectant on them because the mouse poop can contain a virus called hantavirus. It rarely infects humans, but in extreme cases can be lethal. So make sure you wash your hands afterwards and clean it up properly and you'll be fine. Hey Mark, I think I found some coyote poop. I'll be right there. You're definitely right about that. Let's see what's inside. Let's give it a little poke here. Well, that one's quite, quite hard. Let's try the other one here. I think I see some hair there, absolutely. And to me, that looks a lot like rabbit hair. The color 
and the texture. See the other one as well. Being very careful because coyotes can contain a parasite called a tapeworm, which isn't very good for us, but I'm staying a safe distance. And sure enough, look at all that hair in there. Wow, it definitely had a nice lunch on a rabbit. Here's another coyote scat. And in this one, you can actually see the bones from its last meal. Those are those light color markings inside there. Now, it's always important that you dispose of your garbage properly to keep animals safe. They often don't know that your garbage is not meant for them. They can smell yummy food, and they'll try and open up those bags to get at that food because they're often hungry. And when they do that, they often actually ingest the bag. And that's what you see here. This is, in fact, coyote scat that I found last winter. And you can see that it's largely a plastic bag. And this is very unhealthy for this animal. It's lucky that it didn't die. And so please try and take care of the animals around your own home by putting your garbage where it needs to go in the trash bin and making sure it's very secure so that animals can't get there. And that way, humans and the wildlife around us can live in as much harmony as possible. And for our nature fact of the day, do you know which animal creates the most amount of poop? It's the blue whale. It creates enough poop to fill up 200 one liter cartons of milk. We hope you've enjoyed this video about poop on your property. Let us know in the comments down below what kind of poop you found. And be sure to subscribe to Biology in Your Backyard for more content like this. See you next time.